and welcome to our show, Geeks Wired Podcast, where we talk about video games, movies, TV, comic books, technology, and Tilder, the internet of the things. I'm your host, Bill, and we have another host, Anthony. No, you don't. I'm not here. Ah, all by myself. Yep. I'm just a voice in your head. Well, apparently I'm really good at getting voices out of my head, because I'm sure somebody else is hearing you. The voices in my head. They're escaping. You're, good at, you're just good at projecting. You're uh, just a very good... Your split personalities can take your take over your voice. <sighs> your voice? Ooh. Thoughts. All of the above? And you can also talk at the same time, which is very weird. It's like a ventriloquist. Well, no, not just that. Like A ventriloquist can't talk and... They can gargle and talk. Yeah, but that's not the same. Oh. It'd be like having someone talk at the same time as someone else on a video call. Dual that's vocal, how it would sound. Dual vocal cords? I mean, I think you have. I don't know the anatomy of vocal cord. Yeah. But you probably do. Not even remotely. Oh, okay. I guess I that's your assumed. other p- personality that does. Ah. Where's Ted? Uh-huh. He's... Tucked away, he may return when Bill and Ted <clears throat> four come out. Three, three's already out. Oh, I thought that was two. That was three. Anyways, you can contact us by emailing us at geekswire at gmail dot com or giving us a leaving us a voicemail or a text message at eight zero one eight nine six geek. That's also eight zero one eight nine six four three three five. You also can help support us on our Patreon page, patreon.com slash geeksaware, where you also get access to the podcast early. And we appreciate it. Yes. So, tangential, your doom box is very distracting. <laughs> I keep looking over at it. The doom box. There's just random stuff in there that I keep looking at. Ah. Like you got this weird colorful box. that it, It's not a doom box yet. It's got to be there for a little bit. Right now, it's just a... Well, I'm assuming this art, it already had stuff in it. Or did you barely, did, did you nope. just put the stuff in it? That, that All that stuff on your side is brand new in box. Oh. What Oops. about those two? All of it. All of those. All those boxes are brand new in box. Hmm. That was a lot of stuff that was just spread around the room. Reorganizing. Yeah, the shelves are empty. No. Only one of the shelves are empty. I guess the group of shelves. Oh, I'd at least say two. Because those... Okay, I'm talking about the big old boxes. The box of shelves. The boxing? Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you want to talk about? Movies. Okay. What totally. movie? The Suicide Squad. Isn't it just Suicide Squad? No, it's The Suicide Squad. Isn't it? Okay. The first one was Suicide Squad. This one is The Suicide Squad. The sequel to Suicide Squad is The Suicide Squad. That's it? That's all they're differentiating it as? Yes. They're, oh, gosh. I don't. Whatever. It's fine. So you never saw the first one. The first, right? I mean, I wanted to. Just never did. And then I heard it wasn't too particularly great, so I didn't feel too rushed to see it. I'll admit, it's not great. It's not horrible. It's kind of like on par with what TC does with a lot of the... Well, DC's been kind of, I think, trying to do better with their movies. Because they're great with com- or cartoons. The movies have definitely they're pretty had, good with Batman. Yeah, they're good. They're great with Batman. Yeah, every other one though. Yeah, you're right. They're not great. I think Batman's their only strong suit. Oh, the original Superman, Christopher Reeves, was pretty good. Talking the eighties. Yeah, that's well before my time. Oh, okay. Well, actually, no. Actually, yeah, I, my your the split personality wasn't born uh-huh. for a couple of years after that. Okay. Those were good. Okay. And I, I still think the Snyder Cut, I enjoyed it a lot. Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey, I actually really did enjoy that one. I forgot about that one. Yep. Not the sequel to Suicide Squad, her own independent movie. Does it take place before or after Suicide Squad? After Suicide Squad. What about this one? This one takes place after Birds of Prey. Hmm. See, actually, Aquaman was really good, and so was Wonder Woman. Actually, both Wonder Woman. I were forgot good. about. Okay, okay. I've seen, I've seen Wonder Woman. Which one? Uh, not the latest one. Okay. Not what nineteen eighty four. Correct. 
I haven't seen that one. I saw the one that was basically her origin story. World War One. Yeah, I saw that one. And I... That's it. I wanted to see Aquaman. Never did. Really good. I don't know why I never did. Never did, though. That'll happen. But this Suicide Squad... It is because the original Suicide Squad very much felt like it was a, it was Harley Quinn and Will Smith, the movie. That's what the last Suicide Squad felt like. Who was Will Smith? Like, what did he play? He, Deadshot. Actually, no, he played, Will Smith played Will Smith acting as Deadshot. The, uh, the, uh, the problem I have with Will Smith is the same problem I have with Tom Cruise. They are... They're, they, oh, they, they're, act, they don't act the character. They're the character. Yes. So these people act as themselves with a different name. I don't know. I guess I've never noticed that because I've seen iRobot and I've seen whatever that virus one was where they tried to cure cancer. I want to say Legion, but I don't think that's the right one. No. I know it's like it's a uh, remake of The Last Man on Earth. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Basically, the plot of the movie until he finds the name of it. Yeah, keep you explaining. Yeah, I was. I thought I had the name of the movie for a second, but I didn't. Um, I kept wanting to say The Last of Us, but that's absolutely not it, because that's a game. Um, it was called. Uh, basically, they had this big, huge thing where they were. They found a cure for cancer, and it worked. But it also turned everybody into, or maybe, I think it was just everybody on Manhattan Island. But it turned them into, like, zombies, basically, more or less. Like, very hyped up, like, versions of them, but still zombies. And it could also affect, like, dogs and stuff, too. Which, there is a very sad part with that. <laughs> and I think he, he's the, I think he's the, he's the cure because I think he's immune to it. Well, he... Yeah, he, and they, he's one of the last people, he's tra- he's a doctor, he's trying to figure out a cure. Like I said, it is a remake of The uh, Last Man on Earth. You're going backwards. It was is after it? iRobot. Because for iRobot was clear up here, and. Yeah, it came out after iRobot, though. I Am Legend. That was it. Oh, hey, look, there it is. I saw Hancock, and I was like, it's not I that. I think I saw that, too. Hancock was good, but once again. It was it's kind of like Keanu Reeves. He I've actually seen Keanu Reeves kind of develop more as an actor, but for the longest time I felt like Keanu Reeves was playing that whoa, and that's all he played. And he's got I feel like Keanu Reeves has gotten better as an actor, and he can actually like play different roles. Apparently, I haven't seen any movies with Will Smith in it so for a long time. I, I think thought, he used to be one of my favorite actors. Well, he's a he's a good actor, but he's a good actor when you're watching, wanting to watch him as the character. Yeah, I can see that. And that was, which also means like the remakes or the sequels, like Bad Boys for Life. Yeah, that was the character that kind of got his stuff. Will Smith, as or I mean, uh, Fresh Prince Bel Air, things like that. That's what makes sense. So yeah, that's why I'm like, mm, it's Will Smith. He, hmm. I felt like they put him in the movie to try because they were like, oh, we need a big name because people aren't gonna come watch it. Do you like, think they did that with Aladdin? I still haven't seen Aladdin. I haven't either, and almost mostly because of him. Though they, I know they couldn't have used Robin Williams' voice because he didn't want them to. The the that was part of his contract. They mm-hmm. can't use they can't reuse his voice for a hundred years till after his death. Yeah, which I under one hundred percent understand, but it's also kind of sad because we won't hear it because he has a ton. They had a ton of recorded stuff for him. Yeah, like stuff that was never released, and we won't probably me and you will probably never hear it mm-hmm. <laughs> unless the. Uh, the cure for death is salt. Well, either the cure for death or life expectancy just goes through the roof. 
Yeah. Uh, I guess not even through the roof. Just like 20, 30% better. But it's going down at the moment, so you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Life is fun. I forgot he was in Shark Tale. Hitch. Like, Hitch. I don't that remember was, Hitch. He was a, a guy it, who ended up hooking people, uh, or yeah, getting people okay. to find somebody to go on a date with who eventually probably got married. Like, they did these. That's what I thought out. it was, but I wasn't positive. Because I, I think I have seen it. I don't know. I've 100% seen it. I just don't remember that much. Of it. It, it is a good movie. It's just, eh. After Earth, I think that was one I wanted to see, but didn't. I Maybe I did. No, I didn't. Wait. Oh, no, I think I was slightly interested in this one because it's like a, his, uh, oh, it is his son so, uh, on this, you know, Earth a millennium after humanity left it. So they're trying to survive this extreme earth elements are they extreme earth elements or is it just because the wildlife is so much different yeah well, probably that because if i remember correctly i think they crash land in a dense jungle yeah well it's by it's written by m night and directed by m night Shyamalan. so there's a twist maybe that's why i didn't like, No, i think i i don't remember i have seen it i just don't remember it i was i was yeah. I wasn't super interested in it. And it wasn't because of Will Smith. I was just like, eh, it seems okay. <laughs> Spies in Disguise, that was a funny movie. He actually did really well with that. But again, it is Will Smith. But and the funny like thing animation. is it's Will Smith as a <clears throat> secondary character. And not sec- like, and he actually stays secondary because I feel like in Suicide Squad, he was supposed to be a secondary character, mm-hmm. even though he was one of the main characters in it. He was mm-hmm. still like, the sub main characters and it he, i just felt like they couldn't do that but he's the secondary character in this he he's a he's a, he is a one of the main one of the two main characters but of the two main characters he's definitely number two is that just because he gets less screen time or they turn him into a bird they what they turn him into a bird okay so he's still there he's just not him he thinks he is, and he's like he's also like that. He's that spy that like everybody is like ah, oh. but he also is totally like I will save everyone by killing people by doing the impossible, and I will succeed at it. And my bosses hate me for it because they told me to chill out and do whatever. He does this as a bird. No, no, he does this as a spy, and then he gets turned into a bird. I'm kind of intrigued. It, 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 I, I, I think it's pretty mm-hmm. good. The main character I would go would be uh, Walter. Walter. Is that the guy's name? The kid? Yeah. Doesn't really look like a Walter, but... Oh, I know. see like young Walter, but I'm like, that's not... Maybe it is Walter. I don't know now. Now I'm like, wait, where's the... Who I would consider the main character. I'd imagine in credits order, so usually the people who play the most are at the top. I know. That's why I was like, why am I not seeing... There's Walter. Tom Holland. Spider-Man. Which Spider-Man? The current one. The kid? The kid, yeah. Okay, the black and white picture was I making know, me hard. Was it was weird. hard to figure out what his age was. That was weird, actually. But the current Spider-Man. Okay, nice. He's the main character. Hmm. It's weird that he's so far down on the list on IMDb. It's probably messed up. Eh. But, yeah, so. Actually, anybody can edit this, so possible someone probably we're like will smith number one here what we were talking about with it we were talking suicide about squad. suicide squad so suicide, the suicide squad the new suicide squad has it has margot robbie in it so same as before 
but sorry, she's actually uh, and then the the uh, captain. I forget what his name was, but it has him in it. It was over them all. Oh, Rick Flag. So he's in both of them. And he's he's a popular character. Rick Flag is popular from the Suicide Squad group. Oh, that's why Sylvester Sloan plays King Shark. He's the voice. So they brought in they brought in some great so if you've watched the Harley Quinn anime, the recent one, King Shark is one of the characters that Harley works with. And it's just and it seems like they took from that King Shark. So he's kind of a little more goofy-ish. Like, he, he can get violent and stuff, but he's like, he'll pick some brain out of his tooth because that, that got stuck from eating somebody. Hmm. And he'll also say, like, he, like, raises his hand. He's like, hand. Like, yes, that is a hand. Congratulations. It's like, yeah, it's entertaining. Uh, it They brought in Idris Elba who played the in Thor as the guy who guard you know with the giant sword guarded the the path and everything so that's his D or that's his Marvel he also played in the losers which was a DC film from 2010 so it is and the losers is totally one of those movies that Almost everybody in it. This is like I said. This is a DC movie. Almost every all the main characters in this have switched. To, has gotten a Marvel actor job, and some of them have come back. Like to some of them stay with DC. Like the one of the main characters, uh, Jeffrey Morgan. He played uh, Bruce Wayne's dad and oh, died. Okay, uh, Zoe Saldana. She played Gamora in Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay. Chris Evans, Captain America. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, like uh, this movie is a DC movie, but there are a lot of characters that they have pulled in. And this, yeah, they, I think they did a great job. So it, what you're saying is Marvel paid them better. Well, I don't know. DC's bringing them back. They, it just help us in a new DC movie. So they didn't they didn't have an exclusivity. Ugh. Probably. Exclusivity. Well, no, I can't say it. Whatever. Technically, Idris Elba's character is dead in the Marvel Universe. Who's? Idris Elba's. Which one was that again? The Guardian with the Sword. Mm. Is he dead? Thanos killed him. Like, not snapped killed him. Like, killed him. Okay, I can't remember. Because he opened up a portal and, and made the Hulk vanish off with, I don't know, maybe it was just the Hulk. I don't think he had him vanish off with anything else. But he sent the Hulk away so he could warn the Avengers, and then Thanos killed him. Either Thanos or one of his, one of his minions. Well, I couldn't remember if he like killed him, killed him, or if it was perceived that he killed him. This was also the time when Loki was supposedly killed also. So Loki might actually be dead this time as well. But Loki is getting a TV show so they can keep him alive in thought. I mean, he's been perceived to be dead a couple of times. But like Thor said, he thinks it took this time. Oh yeah, he did say that. He doesn't think it was an illusion? He doesn't think it was an illusion. Hmm. And he was yeah, he wasn't snapped. He was like killed killed. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I remember that. Man, that's been a while. Uh huh. That's been a long while. So back on the Suicide Squad, though, it is directed by James Gunn. James Gunn is the same director that did uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. This all of them? I'm pretty sure all of them. But the you know, the very big on the soundtrack, especially Guardians, is really really big. Didn't he get kicked off of doing the rest of them? I know he's writing three. I don't know. They brought him back because there was a big old uh, argument that why Disney was trying to kick him off. He's even doing the uh, holiday special. Okay. I didn't hear about that part. 
I didn't hear about that one. Yeah, there was a big old thing where like all of e- all the actors were like, "No, you're not getting rid of him," and this is stupid. So why were they trying to? Why were they getting rid of him? I don't know. I think I he was supporting remember. some cause, or he tweeted something. It wasn't bad. It was actually like he was supporting a group of people, or he's supporting a cause, and Disney was like. They don't want to be associated. We don't want anybody to actually be doing things. And we want everyone to be just quiet and. Well, because it makes it easier for them to manage their image. Yes. If everybody's quiet. But then it also kind of bites in the butt and some other stuff. And and yeah, that so they went to go fire him. And yeah, he did. He did write them all. And he probably produced them all, all as right. well. Well, I'm glad I didn't misremember that. But I didn't hear that they brought him back. So. I forgot that they were. He was almost cut from that. But yeah, so he did. He did direct. He did write them all. He did direct them all. He produced. Did oh he goodness, produce them that's, all? That's a movie name. <laughs> Which one? Uh, it's in the. It's at the top of your screen. Okay, now it's not. It's in the middle. The lollipop, that one. Lollipop Chainsaw Zombie No, gun. the one right below it. <laughs> the TV show? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, he he's done a lot, though. But, so I'm, but where he's made Guardians very... Because the Guardians is the anti-heroes. Guardians of the Galaxy, they're anti-heroes. They're a bunch of bad guys... They got together that decided to become good guys and save the universe. Suicide Squad, they're anti-heroes. They are a bunch of bad guys who, for one reason or another, whether taking time off their sentence or wanting to do good, eventually have come together and are doing good. And they so that i and i i'm hoping that the soundtrack is going to be amazing like it is with guardians hope they do well but that movie is coming out to theaters and hbo max on august 6th you think they'll have an iconic song that will make me think of it as, as soon as i hear of it well the trailer did a pretty good job for me oh the song that i th- like whenever someone says guardians of the galaxy i immediately think of mr blue sky ah uh-huh. That's a good one. That was just stuck in my head right now. Welcome. It's okay though. I can I have a visual image of baby Groot dancing. It's fine. Yeah. When's that come out though? The the Suicide Squad. August sixth. Dang. Two theaters mm-hmm. and HBO Max. I thought it said on YouTube release. It does say that, but Sorry, yeah, I was I I tweaked what it said. It put on YouTube, and then I typed in some notes for me in the show notes. So theaters and HBO. Yep. Hmm. It'll be on HBO Max for thirty days. Then what goes off until it comes on video on demand? Yeah, or until they yeah, till it comes back around. That's well, the that's how it, that is what HBO Max or that's what Warner Brothers deal has done with movie theaters. Which I was talking when I ended up watching a movie. I don't know how long ago or remember which one exactly, but I was asking about like Wonder Woman. Scooby Doo. No, no, this is in theater, so it wasn't Scooby Doo. Oh, yeah, I went to theaters and actually watched and <laughs> talked to them. And like Wonder Woman, I only watched on HBO Max. I really thought about going to theaters, but I just didn't. They were saying that. The initial weekend, there was the little rise, and then it just drop, dropped off for like 30 days. And then when it came off of HBO Max, the rise happened again. Like the going back to theaters? Well, no. It, well, people started going back to theaters to watch it hmm. because they couldn't watch it on HBO anymore. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So that's probably going to be what's happened with... Are you going to be, become a movie goer in the, in the next couple of weeks again? Five weeks. Five and four and a half weeks. When do you get it? In well, it's gonna be a couple of weeks after the, uh, the the second one. It'll be a vax hole later. Because I get one tomorrow too. Congrats! And then I also get the second one on the twenty second. The twenty second. Oh, like four weeks out. Uh, I don't know. I didn't count. 
Have you got on the first? It's April Fools. You got it. Yeah. The 22nd. So three, three. three. Ah, not bad. Interesting. I got to double check what mine is. I think mine's around that. We can be fax holes together. We'll have two chips. Yeah. Or multiple chips. Maybe I should get one the other arm. I can balance out my chip. Doesn't matter where the chip gets inserted; it just goes everywhere. I want. To, well, it might stay. It's it's an it's an intermuscular, not an intravenous. No, I'm thinking it's a like a nano. Oh, a na- nano body chip. It travels so between the the cells. No, not that. It self self replicates. Oh, I see. It steals the nutrients from your body. I get that. So you, instead of like, you get one chip, turns into two chips, turns into four chips, turns into eight chips, turns into sixteen chips. <gasps> Awesome sauce. Exponential. Maybe they can heal some things up. I guess since we're already on this, and I really don't care anymore, <laughs> we're going to talk about it some more. So if you oh. <laughs> get a vaccine, I'm going to say the words, for COVID-19, and you go to your local Krispy Kreme, okay. <laughs> you can get a free Krispy Kreme donut. This is the other thing. Krispy Kreme is giving away a free donut if you at least have one shot, you don't need both. You just how do you prove it? You get a card. Really? Yeah. Hold on a sec. Actually, you talk. Uh, yeah. You get, you get you get the donut. But donuts, donuts. You get a card. You get a card to say one shot. You got. That's why people are so. Oh. You know, some people are showing a card. Now, this is something though. Do not if you get a, once you get your vaccine or. I'm going to stick with it. Once you get your vaccine, do not show your card off to people. There's lots of per, uh, personal identifiable, identifiable information on that card. Is there? Yes. Where you got it, what it is. So? This is stuff that they'd be able to find. You're not supposed to show it off. Okay. Just, you can say you got, just don't. Because you can get all this information, like the personal identifiable stuff, on like Facebook. Oh, there's even more places. I've been oh, I'm sure, but I mean, that's like the non-wishy-washy, like, gray area. It's actually more of a socially acceptable thing. Yeah. Well, unfortunately. I'm I'm disliking my personal identifiable information being out there as much as it is already. But I got my free card because it's a free shot. And that's the thing is apparently if you go to a doctor, they might charge you to for the doctor's time and all that. Mm-hmm. But the shot is free. They Oh, you don't pay for the shot at all? You don't pay for the shot. The government's paid for taking care of the shot. Mm. The shot is free. People that don't I was want, wondering about that. Yeah. They still want your insurance information if you have it, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, they're making me bring my insurance information even though it's my employer giving it to me. Yeah. It's interesting. I guess if you were part time, that might make sense, or a contractor, but whatever. Yeah. So you you can get a. Do we? Where's the nearest Krispy Kreme? Salt Lake area. <sighs> Dang it! I want a road trip. You can get a free donut every day after you get your first shot until the end of the year. Yes, Krispy Kreme is literally doing that. That's so many donuts. I know. If you want to, if you live beer. Now, the other things, though, is Krispy Kreme so, has started. you never started answered my question. Do I want a road trip? Uh, yeah. Always. Okay. Especially after. Like I said I'm going to be a vax hole later. Instagram photos, Cancun. You're going to be a, a, va- a, <laughs> a, vax, a vax hole a, influencer. Exactly. <laughs> so Krispy Kreme has started off a trend. In Cleveland, there's a cinema that is giving away uh, bags of popcorn. Hmm. And then there is a – until uh, that's through the end of April. And then uh, Market Garden Breweries is offering 10-cent beers for the first uh, 2021 adult to bring their completed cards. Or the first. I guess it's just one. And then there's the Greenhouse of Wallace Lake is a marijuana dispensary in – uh, Walland Lake, Michigan, is giving anyone over the age of 21 with proof of vaccine a free pre-rolled oh joint. Yes, there's all sorts of... No, I think that last one is just the most ridiculous and the most awesome. Then there's employee employers that are giving uh, like AT&T, Instacart, Target, Trader Joe's, McDonald's, Dollar Tree. They are giving their coworkers 
time off and pay, or paid time off to get the vaccine. Kroger is giving their employees a hundred dollar in store credit for getting the vaccine. Publix is giving associates $125 gift cards after they get both doses. So yeah, there is at least companies are supporting this and there's going to be, and apparently a lot of people are starting to roll out with free stuff. That's good, but like, it's still really hard to get it unless you're, it depends. you know where to look or you have an employer who wants, who really wants to get you it. Sort of. So it depends on the area. Some areas are definitely harder than others. Some areas are literally walk in. So does it just depend on how the, the state decided to distribute it? I think it's dependent on how the state decides to uh, distribute it and uh, how, what stores they ended up doing, what uh, companies ended up getting access to it. So some companies ended up getting, so once they had a availability to do it, they gained they were able to get into the pot and pull it in. And the other thing is also depending on which areas, the percentage of the population that wants it. If you're, if you live in an area that is not wanting, area that is uh, anti-vaxxers, you will, you could probably find it by just turning around because nobody in your area wants it. And there's all these places that are just sitting on vaccines. So they're going bad? No, they're not pulled out of the fridge. They're not they're not pulled out of storage. They still have a they they do have a, a shelf life, but if they're but their shelf life as long as they stay within the correct temperatures is still decently long. Hmm. The only time they have to worry about is if somebody signs up and then doesn't show up. They pull it out in preparation for the person to come get the shot. Oh, do they? Yeah, because it, oh. it has to be really, really cold. It kept really cold, which, and it's not going into your arm that cold. Yeah, that would be kind of jarring. Yeah. I don't even know. Ugh. And according to this article from CNBC, 24.9% uh, yeah, of, popula- of the U.S. population has received at least one dose, and 13.5% of the U.S. population is fully vaccinated. How many has one? Have one? Almost 25%. So it's actually... like I think that's good, but I also think that's probably a, a way too high. I'm look, I'm a pessimistic person, though, so... Yeah. <laughs> I just don't feel like 25% of the population is that... Okay. Never mind. The entire U.S. Forget about that. You're right. You're right. That's You're why right. I said... Some areas are very, very hard to find the shot, like you're saying. Some areas are extremely easy to find. Especially if people don't show up. Especially no if people don't show up, yeah. Which I guess there's a ton of that, apparently, if they just let people show up sometimes around here. Mm-hmm. Which is kind of sad. Yes. So there is a lot of that happening. Uh, but yeah, there's so there may be more and more free things. I also do not expect Krispy Kreme to keep giving away donuts for the rest of the year. They say they were going to. I think in a month or so, they're going to stop. Uh, Though it is a giant tax write-off, so they might. I'm thinking they'll keep it going because they're probably just expecting people to, one, get tired of donuts, and two, or maybe they only give out like normal glazed donuts, and you can only have the same thing for so long. At least I can only have the same thing for so long. True. Some people just... We'll just go to town and just have that forever. But um, think about it. Well, it also might be a good thing because you show up to get your free donut and you buy a coffee. Yeah, and that's probably another thing they're going for. Like at first, that's probably not what's going to happen. Yeah. But over time, people are going to be like, "Well, I'm here. You bunch coffee of, does sound good." Get a bunch of college kids or high school kids showing up and getting there. And the thing is, there's even stuff going on that people are trying to buy cards they're not going for the free shot they're trying to buy a vaccine card i feel like that's dangerous for the person who sells it yeah because it has your information on it and they can track down who 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 gave up their card though i guess the person could just say oh it was stolen oh there's some people that are stealing it that are 
like uh, internal and they're actually like shifting information around. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. And that's the thing is there's, then this can actually be dangerous because if somebody ends up going, yeah, how you know, this is an article, how counterfeit vaccine and vaccination cards endanger us all. Some countries are not letting people travel if you don't have a vaccine card. And instead of people getting a free shot, I feel like they should be a little bit more, uh, uh, high tech than just a card with some stuff written on it. Then, well, they have to scan you for your chip now. Oh, uh, so why why <laughs> is it why is it endangering us then? Huh? If they can just scan for the chip, or is this the cover story? Uh, this is the cover story totally. Uh, I but see. Yes, obviously, if people are traveling, and actually, is it means that people can travel, can become the variant can become a problem and cause problems for. So, um, are these vaccines like, um, they're, the, they're a new style, aren't they? They're like MRNA or something like that. Two of them are. Two of oh, them are. Oh, not all of them are. Yeah. Two of them are. What's uh, the other one? Other ones. Are I, they like I weakened? I think the, uh, I think it's kind of the same. I think Johnson and Johnson's is just, so the, the, Pfizer and the Moderna are the RNA ones and the Johnson and Johnson is, I want to say it's just like what we've normally done. And the RNA ones, they ended up doing, uh, getting your body to learn the proteins. So do they just like inject it into some bacterium or do they just inject the RNA? I I should have looked this up because I've actually kind of been curious about it for a while because usually... A vaccine, all it is, is just a weakened or dead virus. Correct. But they're not this way, and that's one of the reasons why they were able to actually get it out so quickly. And it'll just can it'll just make vaccines for the future even better too. How about this? Hmm? We may talk about this later. We're not going to look it up now, and we're not going to give bad information that's fine and if the listener wants to hear it before we may or may not talk about it they can look it up as well yeah you should probably just look it up yes because yeah this is probably something i shouldn't just like spout information off that dropped into the show (laughs) it's all right because this is something we shouldn't have false information on yeah that's why i'm like i will just accept the i don't <laughs> know at this point i know a little bit i know some i don't know enough to go with it but i'm going to go into other things that uh that this pandemic has also been because there was also tons of like free stuff at the beginning of the pandemic oh that's how you say it the louvre the louvre museum in france in okay. paris i didn't hear louvre i or heard lou i guess the lou is the it lou. lou is it the lou for the lou well, the loo is... Also a toilet, yes. Yes. So that's why I kept wondering why you kept saying that earlier. I don't know. I think I... Cause I feel like the... I don't know. Is it loo or is it louvre? Which one? This? This. I would assume it's louvre. All right. I'll go with that. But you could also p- plug it into a... Plug it into Google Translate. All right. We should probably do that. But until then... Because we're just going to keep it going, because we're already into it, is they have made all of their paintings. The entire museum is free online. No charge. Hmm. Is it like a a slideshow, or is it like a, a sh- like a street view, but inside? And there's apparently a VR setup, too, that kind of... And I'm assuming it's kind of like a street view. Yeah. But for inside. And probably better. Probably. Like, let's see, look, look at the paintings. Let's see here. But they everything you can go look at. You can check it out. Oh, maybe it isn't a wander around. Maybe it is a... I'll oh. click. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I clicked on it. We're looking at it. And it's in French. Yay! Anything. Even though you have it in English. Oh, wait. That's weird. It's in both. That's weird. So it is a go click on it and go look at it and get information about it. It's interesting. So it is not a wander around. I guess this is easier. Yes. So like if you wanted to go see, obviously. 
the Mona Lisa. Yes. And then you can go, oh, it even has all the extra stuff that actually is not uh, really out there for show in public. Be like wandering through, what's the one in D.C.? Smithsonian? Yeah, and being able to see all the stuff they actually also have in the back. Because there is some of the other portrait. Uh, that doesn't. A lot of it's not loading. Yeah. Or just taking slow. They could be getting DDoSed. Yeah. Everyone's looking at it. Is this like a neg- like a, a way of seeing what is underneath it? It's possible. Because I've been hearing, never confirmed this, but that they, like, because... I mean, painters paint over their previous works because they may have messed up and they're trying to fix it. Or they even just don't care. Or they, yeah, or this it could also be the pen, pencil sketching too because some people do that. I don't know if he did. Yes, he did. Oh, okay. There's a lot of works they have found that had works underneath. And apparently, I don't know. Is not. I, I don't know why it's whatever loading. I'm guessing they're getting. Have you have you heard of the the Reddit hug of death? Yes. They might be getting hugged to death right now. True. And obviously, the Mona Lisa is the one that everyone wants to go look at. But all the other things. This is the also the place with the giant glass pyramid out front as well. I didn't know about that. Yep. So you've probably seen like the outside of it many times. I wonder if this website's only hosted in France. There is an interactive map of the museum. So, yes, there's all sorts of fun things you can look at and wander around. But this is really cool. and Probably look at it in a couple of weeks. Yes. <laughs> Among other things that the pandemic is also affecting, for the second year in a row... Google is not doing an April Fool's. And probably a lot of other tech companies. Yes. Because I think Google said this, and then the other tech companies are like, yeah, we'll we'll do the same. Yep. Reducing fake information and even everything. Just like, we're just not going to. Kind of wondering if they'll they'll ever do it again. Actually, I actually started thinking about that too, because where there is, when you hear before, when you heard some of the stuff, it was like, oh, that just sounds like an April Fool's. Oh, that's real. Or on the vice versa, it's like, hey, did you hear on this? Yeah, that's an April Fool's. I'm ashamed to say I actually have been caught out by this one time. Yeah, I, I know, I've got, I've seen both sides. I've fallen on both sides. Like, hey, did you hear about this thing? Oh, that's an April Fool's joke. Oh, did, this is this looks absolutely terrible. Oh, that you know, this looks like an April Fool's joke. That website that got left up. Oh, that's a real thing. Yeah. Information like people releasing information on April first. They kind of tried to like hesitate around it. Kind of like no, no, no. We're going to release on the thirty first or the second, or even a couple of days before or after. Yeah. And then there's and then even some April Fool's jokes have turned into real things. Like, uh, what's the exercise that? Uh, you scream and jump around and Ted Ted liked it. I don't know what you're talking about. The I forget. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I've never heard of that. And maybe I just thought that was a Ted mannerism. No, it's the there's the exercise group that he paid for and went to. Oh, uh, shoot. Yeah, plant. Nope. No. Uh, mm. Exactly. I can't think of it now. Dang it, man. But yeah. But there's... So that has come from it. And... I don't even remember what it's called. But it's like one of those like crazy ones. Where you jump around. But it was... it was, You know, it's like where they do the... the like the... the the pull-ups where you like yank your body up and you kind of like use your body motion a lot. I forget what it is, but either way. So that was an April Fool's joke initially. There's other things that really? come around. Yeah, that was an April Fool's joke at first. Hmm. Uh, the idea of uh, places having like, or you know, let's see, somebody came out like, oh, they're going to put like 20 razors on this razor blade, and then Mach Five came out. Oh, that's a thing. Five blades on your razor. 
Oh, only about five. Yeah, no, they joked around about back when there's like two blades. They're joking about you know, or they think added a third blade, and they start joking about like thirty blades on your razor, and then like they start adding more blades. They're like, really? Okay. I think mine has five. Yeah. And I actually kind of missed the because with five blades, especially if you have like you haven't shaved for a bit, like me right now. Yeah. Five is almost like too much. You need like I don't know. I just remember having the the cheap like three disposable ones, which the three blade ones. They, I don't know. I didn't feel like they got caught as much. Mm-hmm. And they're easy to clean because they're spread apart farther, but whatever. Random tangent. Uh, are you still looking for it? I was going to let you go on. I may or may not find it. Oh, because I was going to start looking for it too. Oh, okay. But we really should think about some of the wrap-up stuff anyways. And I guess we also could look see what else there is. Uh, what Are you going to get the new Apple iOS 14.5 beta? Whenever it releases to me. It's not going to be the beta, but... Yeah, you're going to just do the normal? So the 14.5 iOS beta came out, and the Siri, the default female Siri voice is... CrossFit. Yeah, so that's the word. Crossfit. I didn't actually find it. I just saw the word fit, and then it just triggered, so... That'll happen. CrossFit was an April Fool's joke. Oh. But yeah, Siri will no longer default to the female voice. Yes. And there's now two new choices. There are two new choices. What are the two new choices? A male and a female. I will always use British Siri. Always. But what it defaults to is it tells you to pick a voice. Mm-hmm. It's just interesting. Do Do they have a reason why they're doing that? Do Now is, instead of in the beginning? Actually, I guess Google doesn't even do that either. Can you even pick a different voice? Yeah, English. Besides, the American English, because without choosing another language or another co- country's dialect, uh-huh. American English has six. I think Siri has just about as many. Well, and that's just like, we're just right there on the list. You can just, and they're they're by colors. They're uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Google has the that. color thing. So you kind of like... Because it doesn't make any sense. I don't, honestly, don't care. Not worried. I've gone through them, listened to them. Had some of the other ones downloaded. Yeah. I, I would just much prefer they put where the... What dialect and what accent they're trying to copy. Because that's all I'm interested in. Because all I want is the British one. There you go. Because it sounds sophisticated. But which British one? The girl one, obviously. But which British girl one? I think there's only one. There's more than one. Siri? Oh, I don't know about Siri. I don't care. I don't. You don't care about the Google. Fine. You remember the last time I actually when is the? I periodically talk to my downstairs one in my basement to tell it movie time so it will dim my lights. Ah. And the other the like last night tried talking to my living room one because I haven't replaced it yet. It didn't. Guess what? Didn't hear me again. Ah. Uh-huh. And then when I talked to it again, the other three that are still hooked up triggered at, at the same time too. Oh, that's, that's always awesome. It, you know, it's great when you set an alarm or set a timer and more than one actually picks it up and they don't. I'll admit, that is the one thing that. I've had the one next to me not pick up or it did pick up and then it decided to hand off to the one that's in the other room. Ah, yeah. And then set the timer there. Yep. Oh, that's always amazing. So the reason they did this is they or they end up sourcing talent recording uh, that are then run through Apple's neural text for speech engine. But their idea is that this allows voice to flow more organically, even in phrases uh, are beginning, or even when phrases are being generated on the fly. And the new voices are. They didn't do that before. Or maybe it's for these two. It new was less account. organic, apparently. Is what they were saying. It was more... I guess I could see that, because even though Siri sounds, I would say, good, it doesn't sound as good as, like, Cortana. Cortana actually sounds really good, Mm -hmm. because it's based off of a real person's voice. (gasps) I don't remember her name, but she was the voice of Cortana in Halo, which is why she's called Cortana. Yeah. And she was also the voice of... Who's the witch person in Ruby? 
the the one who can live forever, who's bad. Oh, I can't remember her name. Salem. Yes. That's actually kind of funny that they named her Salem. Salem Witch Trials. Ah, I'm pretty sure that's why. It's possible. <laughs> it's like Cinder. Just because of flame? No. Why Cinderella? Is that what she's supposed to be? Oh, okay, I'm gonna stop because you spoils. Don't. I was gonna watch that this weekend and I didn't. Well, now you have to because spoils. Spoils. If you, if you want us to get into last year's the end, the beginning of the seasons, that'll be explained really quick. That was actually some of the stuff on the subreddit they were talking about. Is that Cinder for Cinderella? Hmm. But back to iOS. 14.5 beta 6. This is 38 voices are now being used with the new technology for the Ireland, Russia, Italy. So there's going to be... Oh, they got a lot. They're adding yeah. a lot more apparently because yes. this is all there is. They have American, Australian, British, Indian, Irish, and South African. And for you American people, Indian means... The people of India, not the Native Americans. Yes. And then you can pick, at least for British, you can pick male or female. I'm sure some of them are just one or the other, though. Probably. And so all. Siri now will handle 25 billion requests over 500 million devices and support 21 languages in 36 qu- countries. Dang. Yeah, they're expanding. How many languages do they only do they support now? I don't know. How many? You said you. Well, I mean, that's just voices. It's not like. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. No, don't do that. I wanted the British one. I picked Indian for a second, and it decided to keep it there. Yeah, I think they only do English. As of summer 2019, Apple Siri voice assistant supports 21 languages. Oh, never mind. It's in a different menu. You have Uh, to go back, which makes 100% sense, to be honest. So as of 2019... Siri voice assistant supports 21 languages. With this new stuff they're coming out, it is going to support 21. So, actually, it's the same amount of languages. They're just starting to switch over all the stuff to include more options. It's probably good. New technology. Yeah, you see the menu right there? Yep. And so... You have multiple options now. Let me pick that on mine because I think it has that downloaded by default, so it won't be. Yeah, there's only two options for each one. So that's the good part of Apple. Now there's the bad part of Apple. What's that? Apple was fined $2 million in Brazil for selling iPhone oh, yeah. 12s without chargers because Brazil is like, no, you must well, no, provide. Brazil has just Brazil has a law for that, as does France. Oh, is France also getting? But I'm them? pretty sure France, they did include a charger. Okay. I'm I'm wondering if in Brazil they either didn't know or didn't care. Hmm. So I'm behind them on not including the charger. But I'm also not because they changed the other end of their cord because it used to be USB A, which matched all their other chargers. Mm-hmm. Now the other side's USB C. Oh. So it doesn't like their argument of you already have all these and. Some people do, yeah, probably because they have other USB-C charging stuff, but a lot of people didn't. And it even got to the point where when I got my 12 from Verizon, Mm -hmm. they included a charger with it. I had to pay for it, obviously, but... Yeah. And I thought about not getting it, but I I need more USB-C chargers anyway, so I just got it, but... Yeah. So that's with the country's consumer defense code. It also apparently... The fine also covers the alleged misleading water-resistant claim. What's the misleading part about it? Apple supposedly declined to uh, repair iPhones that suffered water damage under warranty despite touting the device's ability to survive immersion for extended periods. So, that's why. Yeah, I don't know if they did this on other ones besides the 12, but I think I got hit with that on my 8. Yeah. Because... I sent it in, and then they sent me another one Mm -hmm. because I didn't want to wait. And I think they ended up charging me for the full price. Oh, yay. I only think that because I never checked, but um, 
I was suddenly over my credit limit. Yeah. <laughs> on my card. Understand. Which it can't be done normally. <laughs> yeah. So it be a thing. What's this? This is the other thing where Apple um, is among the companies that are fighting Nevada for the right to repair bill that is being put through. They're saying this would affect pri- our security and privacy, but my argument is you play, fixing your own battery shouldn't have any problems with violating security and privacy. And that's just the minimum part. The battery part makes sense. I could see them, and I'm just being devil's ad- advocate here. For like the fingerprint sensor, I could see them maybe doing that because it'd be pretty easy for a third party to put something man in the middle to mm-hmm. steal your biometrics. Same with the face ID thing. Um, the screens though themselves and the touch and the like the the yeah. digitizer not really, which they had problems with that, and they had problems with the old home buttons too. But that's because that that's where the the touch sensor, the mm-hmm. fingerprint sensor was. So. I think stuff should be able to be repaired. Absolutely. But I can, the security part makes sense in some aspects. Not a battery, probably not a camera, though, because of the face ID thing. But there's not most, a lot of software, <sighs> though, and yeah. I mean, it is, but. If somebody wants to ingeniously put some man in the middle attack on this, there's lots of stuff that has to be built in and lot. Uh, yeah, it's possible, but it's. Actually, I think it's pretty possible. Yeah, you don't think it's complicated? Make... I'm not going to say it's not complicated, but third-party stuff, like, there's not, nobody's verifying it. Well, but, yeah, there's that. Uh, yeah. And, well, actually, some companies have even found stuff built into their own stuff that they bought from whoever. I mean, look at the Huawei lawsuits they're going through. And all... I don't. I haven't been following them. They Basically, Britain, America, and a bunch of other companies that worked with Huawei chips and all that because of their putting in man in the middle of stuff or stealing other people's information. Yeah, they are actually a lot of people are not happy with Huawei. Apparently they were doing some super hokey stuff. Huh. Yeah. I didn't know that. But that's mostly because Huawei hasn't been allowed to be sold in the U.S. for what, two years now? Three, four? No, well, but Huawei, you forget that Huawei was the contract for a lot of the 5G stuff. Oh, I didn't know that either. And even actually some of the 4G, but definitely a lot of the 5G. So they actually are the hardware on a lot of cell phone towers. So it'd be possible for man in the middle stuff to be in there too? Yeah. But with that, we're going to uh, wrap things up good because it's getting dark yes have any famous last words Mm. so for the vaccine ignore what i said earlier though i will kind of stand behind my whole uh what old vaccines used to be like because i'm pretty sure that's common knowledge but yes look up your stuff so you know like be informed don't just like get it just because it's cool but you should still get it don't understand what you're getting i guess you can get the free shot and get your free stuff but you still should get it because we care about the well-being of friends families and random people and yourself that too